use of some specific animals. Now, in the previous class, we have learned about how to find out the sine, cos, tan, cosec, secant, and tan. Now, there we have used only the length of the sides, the values are given. Now, here we learn today about how to find out about some specific angles. Now, for this, first we will find how to find out trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees. We will find out trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees. How to find out this one? Now we know in the trigonometry we use generally the right angle triangle to solve the problems and we will take the top. Now first I will consider a right angle triangle. A, B, C is a right angle triangle. We know for a right angle triangle there exists a 90 degrees and for a right angle triangle we know the sum of all the angles will be 180 degrees. Now here it is 90 and what will be the chance of other angles? This is nothing but 45 degrees and why considering the 45 degrees is nothing but the maximum angle could be here is nothing but only 45 and 45 and if you add this one angle A plus angle B plus angle C is nothing but equal to 180 degrees hence it is a right angle triangle now while considering the equal if you observe this one it, it is nothing but the isosceles right angle why right angle, isosceles right angle because two angles are equal so it is a right angle isosceles triangle now here I don't know the length of the sides so I assume this is hypotenuse I assume this side as A because the hypotenuse is the longest side I will take this as the remaining two sides as small now here the length of AB as well as BC is equal to A units now I need to find out AC now here I know that this is a right angle triangle now when two sides are known we can find out the third side by using the Pythagoras law now what is the Pythagoras law? hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the square of two sides now AC square is equal to what is AB? A square plus what is BC? nothing but A whole square now this is nothing but A a square plus a square is nothing but 2a square. Now here ac square is nothing but 2a square. I need the value of only ac. Now what happens? I take this to this side. It becomes root 2 into a square. Now we know this is nothing but root 2 into a. Nothing but a square root. I can write this one as root 2 into a. a square is get cancelled. So I can get this one. Root 2 into a. Now, this is the hypotenuse. So, what is the hypotenuse I got? Root 2 into A units is the length of the hypotenuse. Now, here AB value I know, BC value I know, as well as I find out the AC value. Now, when three sides are we know, how to find out this trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees. So, what are the general trigonometric ratios we know? Sign. So, I take sign. What is the sign? Nothing but opposite to 45, nothing but angle by hypotenuse to 45. Hypotenuse to 45 degrees. Now, what is the opposite to 45 degrees if I consider from A? So, opposite is nothing but BC by, and what is the hypotenuse? Root 2 A. Root 2, sorry, AC. Now, the value is A by root 2 a now a again cancel what is the value of sine 45 value we got nothing but 1 by root 2 now i go for cos 45 now what is the cos 45 at the same to 45 degrees by hypotenuse to 45 degrees now what is at the same to 45 a b by a c now what is a b a by root 2 into a 
and you say a get cancelled, this is also and you equal to 1 by rho 2. Now, similarly, I go for tan. What is the next general tan 45 degrees? Now, what is tan 45 degrees? Opposite to 45 degrees by adjacent to 45 degrees. Now, what is the opposite to this one? BC by AC. This is nothing but A by A. This is not A get cancelled. The value is nothing but 1. Now, similarly, similarly, we can find out the values of cot 45 degrees, secant 45 degrees, and cosec 45 degrees. Now, this is how we will find out the trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees. We will learn how to find out trigonometric ratio of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Now, in order to find out this one, first we will consider a right angle triangle. This side, sir. A, B, C. Now, if you observe this one, this is nothing but a an equilateral triangle. A, B, C is a equilateral triangle having with 60 degrees in each. Having with 60 degrees in each. Now, we know in trigonometry we generally consider about the right angle triangle. Now, how can we make a right angle triangle by this? So, how I can make a right angle triangle for this equilateral triangle? Now, here nothing but I will draw a perpendicular bisector as AD to the side BC. Now, this AD, the bisector, will divide this equilateral triangle into two equal right angle triangle. Now here this is one. A, B, C is one right angle triangle and A, D, B is another right angle triangle. Now if you observe here this 60 will become as a 30 degrees as well as this the 60 will also become as 30 degrees because we are dividing this one. Now if you observe angle A is nothing but 30 Angle B is nothing but 60, angle B is nothing but 90 degrees. Why here 90 degrees are taken? Because we know a straight line has 180 degrees. When we divide that straight line into two equal parts, it makes 90 degrees each. Now here A, B, D is one right angle angle, A, D, C is another right angle triangle. Here now A, D, B and a, B, C are two right angle triangles and A, D is the bisector of B, C and angle A is equal to 30 degrees common to two right angle triangles. Now, here, how can I find out the values of 30 and 60? Now, here, we have only the angle values here. Now, so I assume for an equilateral triangle, the length of the sides is 2 inch. Now, I assume, let the length of the sides of equilateral triangle triangle is equal to 2a units. Now, ad equal to 2a and bc equal to 2a as well as ac is also equal to 2a. Now, after drawing this ad, the bisector, you can observe that this bc has become now, bc has become nothing but bd plus dc. bd plus DC or nothing but simply I can say half of BC. 
clear so what i can say is here bd will be divided into two parts now this 2a by 2 is nothing but this will become a as well as this side dc will become a now here bd is equal to a units as well as dc equal to a units now here we have the three sides we have consider for the equilateral triangle in the length of sides after drawing the right angle after drawing the perpendicular bisector now it has become two right angle triangles now we are in the first i consider for finding out the first one here i can observe a right angle triangle b is a right angle triangle having 30 degrees at a similarly at d it is 90 degrees and at b the value is nothing but 60 degrees now from this figure equilateral angle a b c i have considered one right angle triangle a d b where d is a right angle triangle 90 and b is having the angle 60 and a is having the 30 degrees now 90 plus 30 120 120 plus 60 again equal to 180 degrees this will be equal to the sum of angles of a triangle is nothing but equal to 180 degrees now how to find out this 30 degrees and 60 degrees from this one you can observe this one. first i will consider i will find out 30 degrees now sin 30 degrees so if i go for this sign the angle if i consider a i will get the value of 30 degrees now so i can observe this one when it is sign now if i consider angle it will be the opposite as well as this is adjacent and this will be the hypotenuse now what are the values of that one if you observe this one db is nothing but a as well as what is the other side ad now here we will find out this unknown value ad we need to find out the ad now if you observe this one how can we find out this one now here this is nothing but i know the pythagoras law hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square now what is hypotenuse square 2a whole square is equal to one side square a square plus what is the other side ad square now ad square is nothing but equal to 2a square now this is nothing but 2 square 4 a square is a square now plus a becomes here minus sorry minus a square now a square here nothing is there one 4 minus 1 3 a square here ad square is nothing but equal to 3 a square now i want ad value only ad is equal to nothing but square root 3 a square this is nothing but root 3 into root a square square root will get cancel what is the value of ad now root 3 into a now i got the value of this one root 3 into a now ad is a common for abd as well as adc triangles now ad i can take as root 3 into a now i have found out the length of the sides of a triangle now sin 30 so what is sin 30 is nothing but opposite to 30 by hypotenuse to 30 What is the ratio of 30 degrees? Now, so sin 30 is nothing but we know opposite to 30 by hypotenuse to 30 degrees. What is opposite to 30 degrees? Opposite to 30 degrees is nothing but BD by and what is hypotenuse to this one is nothing but AD. Now, what is the value of BD A and what is the BD AD we have taken two. Now A get cancel. What is the value of this one? Sin 30 is nothing but equal to 1 by 2. Now similarly, we are similarly we can find out the value of cos 30 and similarly the other trigonometric ratios. Now I will show how to find out cos 30 and tan 30 from the following figure. Now what is cos 30? Cos 30 is nothing but adjacent to 30 degrees by hypotenuse to 30 degrees. Now, what is now from this one? If you observe from 30 degrees, 
this will be the opposite and this will be the adjacent and this will be the hypotenuse now adjacent to 30 degrees is nothing but ad by and what is hypotenuse to 30 degrees nothing but ab now what is ad value root 3 into a by and what is ab value 2a now here a a cancel now what is the value of this cos 30 degrees and then find out root 3 by 2 this is how you will find out cos 30 degrees and if I go for the next one nothing but tan 30 degrees is nothing but what is tan from this one opposite to 30 degrees by adjacent to 30 degrees now this is equal to now what is the opposite to this one db by what is adjacent to this one ad now this is nothing but db is nothing but a and what is this one root 3 into a now a again cancel now what is the value of this one root 3 now similarly find the values of similarly find the values of the other trigonometric ratios nothing but secant 30 degrees cosec 30 degrees and cot 30 degrees can be found out now we will find the trigonometric ratio value of 60 degrees now I will consider about the 60 degrees how to find out the value of 60 degrees nothing but this 60 when I consider the angle is here we know this will become the opposite and this angle, this side will be the adjacent and this will be the hypotenuse as well. Now, I will find out sin 60 degrees. So first I will find out sin 60 degrees. Now if I consider this sign, this is nothing but opposite to 60 degrees by hypotenuse to 60 degrees. Now, what is opposite to 60 degrees there? A, D, this is nothing but opposite to A, D by what is the hypotenuse? A, B. Now, what is the AD? AD is nothing but root 3 into A and this is nothing but 2A. Here, A again cancel. Now, what is the 60 value? Nothing but sin 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2. Now, we will go for the second. What is the second one? Cos 60 degrees. Now, what is this cos 60 degrees? Nothing but adjacent to 60 degrees by hypotenuse to 60 degrees. Now, if I go for this one, what is the adjacent here? Adjacent is nothing but db or bd by what is the hypotenuse? Nothing but ab. Now, what is the value of db from the figure? a by and what is ab? 2a. Now, a again cancel. Now, what is the value of cos 60 degrees from the figure? We have find out cos 60 as nothing but 1 by 2. Now, the third one. The third one is nothing but tan. 60 degrees. Now, what is tan 60 degrees? Opposite to 60 degrees by adjacent to 60 degrees. Now, what is opposite to 60 degrees? Nothing but AD by and what is the adjacent to this one? DB. Now, AD. What is the AD value? Root 3 into A by and what is the DB value? A. A again cancel. Now what is the tan 60 value root 3. Now this is how we will find out sin 60, cos 60, tan 60 from the figure. Now what are the values we will get sin 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2 and cos 60 is nothing but 1 by 2 and tan 60 is nothing but root 3. Now similarly, similarly we can find other trigonometric metric ratio values of what are the remaining secant 60, cot 60, and process 60. Now find the values of this one. All the trigonometric values of some specific values. Now we can draw a tabular form of all the trigonometric ratios. Now how the values? 
will be. Now we will just look at the board. Now we can observe we are comparing at the point of angle A. If the angle is at A, how the values can be? Now we generally we have discussed about 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees, 0 and 90 degrees. Now here, if we go for the first trigonometric ratio sign, we consider at angle A. If I consider what is the value? But when it is at 0 degrees, the sign value will be 0. If it has been 30 degrees, the value will be 1 by 2. Similarly, sign at 45 degrees will be 1 by root 2. Similarly, sign 60 will be root 3 by 2. And this sign 90 will be equal to 1. Now, we go over the cos A. Now, what are the values of cos A at different specific angles? Now, at cos 0, cos 0 will be 1. Similarly, cos 30 will be root 3 by 2. Similarly, cos 45 will be 1 by root 2. Cos 60 will be 1 by 2. And cos 90 will be 0. Now, we will go for the next trigonometric ratio about tan. Now, tan 0 is nothing but 0. And tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3. And tan 45 is nothing but equal to 1. And tan 60 will be root 3. And tan 90 degrees is nothing but not defined. This not defined is something but we cannot know the value. Now, cot A, similarly, we go for the cot A, cot 0, we cannot find out the value of cot 0. Similarly, cot 30 degrees is nothing but root 3, cot 45 degrees is nothing but 1, and cot 60 degrees is nothing but 1 by root 3, cot 90 degrees is nothing but 0. Similarly, we will go for the next secant. Now, the secant is nothing but 1, secant 0 is nothing but 1 and secant 30 will be 2 by root 3 and secant 45 will be root 2, secant 60 will be 2 and secant 90 will be not defined. Now, cosec is nothing but cosec 6, 0 degrees is nothing but not defined and cosec 30 degrees is nothing but 2, cosec 45 degrees is nothing but root 2, cosec 60 is nothing but 2 by root 3, cosec 90 is nothing but 90 degrees. Now, how these values are written is nothing but in the previous session I have explained how to find out the specific value of different angles. Now after finding out all the values, we have made a table to make it easy for us to remember the values. And also if you remember there is a small logic in this table. In general we know that sin, cos, tan are the general trigonometric ratios and cot secant cosec are the multiplicative inverse of that one ratios. Now, if you observe the table here, sin, cos, tan, we have written in the direct and if you observe this one, we have written tan, secant, cosec. Now, if you observe this one, this is nothing but if you stand in front of a mirror and if you look at yourself, it will be in the reverse order. Now, similarly, if you come for this table also, if you observe, See the sign. How to remember this table? The ease is nothing but if you learn the sign value and if you start writing from 0 the sign and when you are going for cos, you can start from 90 degrees, nothing but the reverse. Now you can answer this one. This will be like a mirror image to this one. Now if you like sign, you can write the cos values. Similarly, if you like learn the tan values, you can write the multiple to that one, mirror image to that one. Similarly, secant, if you learn the secant and if you remember the secant values, we can similarly write the cosec value. Now, this is a simple logic to remember the tabular values only, but remember these values as the most because we majorly depend on this trigonometry, will be majorly dependent on these values. Our the next topic will be based on the problem solving on the specific values of the trigonometric ratio. We will solve the example problem how to find the lengths of BC and AC when angle B is at 90 degrees given AB equal to 5 centimeters in a right angle triangle AB. Now, if you observe here, one length is given as well as one angle is given. Now, we will use the concept of trigonometric ratio of angles. Now, first I write the given. Now, what is the given? A, B, C is a right angle triangle. A, B, C is a right angle triangle where angle B equal to 90 degrees 
and AB equal to 5 centimeters. Now, since it's given ABC is a right angle triangle, and draw the figure right angle triangle ABC. Since it's given is right angle as a B, I'll take this as a right angle triangle, and he has given angle ACD. I'll just give it angle ACD is nothing but 30 degrees. Now, I'll take this at C 30 degrees and the value AB is given as 5 centimeters. Now, if you observe, angle AB is given as 5, angle BC we don't know, as well as angle AC we don't know, and our angle is given B equal to 30 degrees. Now, in the previous cases we have found out when two sides are given, the third side can be found out by using Pythagoras. Now, here only one side is given, one angle is given. So, I use the concept of trigonometric ratios. Now, here, if you observe this one, opposite, if your angle C is there, if you observe, this will be the opposite, and this is the adjacent, and this side will be the hypotenuse. Now, if we know the hypotenuse, we can find, you by using these two, we can find out hypotenuse. Now, for that, if you observe this here, angle C is nothing but opposite AB is given. So, I will go for tan. So, tan 30 from figure ABC. Tan 30 is nothing but opposite to 30 degrees by adjust to 30 degrees. Now, what is opposite to 30 degrees as well as what is tan 30? Tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3 from the value we know. Now, opposite to 30. Opposite to 30 is nothing but AB by and adjacent to 30 degrees is nothing but BC or opposite to if we can write down here opposite to C adjacent to C because angle C is given and we can write opposite to 30 degrees or opposite to C now I want the value here I'll cross multiply 1 into BC is equal to root 3 into A now I want BC value so 1 into BC is BC equal to root 3 into what is AB value? We know AB value is 5. Now it becomes 5 into root 3 is nothing but 5 into root 3. Now I got the BC value. Now what are the values that are AB equal to 5 and less BC equal to 5 into root 3. Now by using these two values, if I substitute here, this is nothing but 5 into root 3. Now here I am adding two length of the circle but two sides. So I need the hypotenuse. So I find the hypotenuse by the Pythagoras law. By the Pythagoras. By using the Pythagoras law. What is Pythagoras law from the figure? Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. You can say law or theorem. What is hypotenuse here? The hypotenuse is nothing but AC is equal to what is the first side we will take? One side will take as AB, AB square plus the another side is nothing but BC square. Now, we don't know the AC value, we keep the AC as this and what is the AB we know? 5 to substitute here plus and what is BC? 5 into root 3. Force. Now here AC square is equal to 5 square is nothing but 25 plus here you know this is in the form of a into b whole power n so I can write this here nothing but 5 square is nothing but 25 into this root 3 is nothing but root 3 whole square square root get cast now this is nothing but 25 plus this is 25 into 3 75 now a c square is equal to 75 now 25 plus 75 is nothing but 100 now, this 100 can be as 10 square. Now, square square get cancelled. Now, AC equal to 10. Now, we have got the size. Now, in the question is that you determine the length of BC and AC. Yes, by using the first phenomenon, I have found out the BC and as well as I have found out the AC. Now, with some example 6, the problem is that in triangle PQR, Angle Q is at right angle PQ equal to 3 cm and PR equal to 6 cm. Determine angle Q 
पी आर एंड पी आर क्यू फाइंड द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ व्हेन टू साइड्स आर गिवन वी हैव फाइंड आउट द थर्ड साइड इन द नेक्स्ट केस वी हैव सॉल्व व्हेन वन साइड इज गिवन वन एंगल इज गिवन टू फाइंड आउट द अदर टू साइड्स नाउ दिस इज अनदर टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वेयर वन साइड विल बी गिवन एंड सो व्हेन टू साइड्स आर गिवन एंड आस्किंग टू फाइंड आउट द एंगल्स नाउ वी गो टू द प्रॉब्लम नाउ सॉल्यूशन First in the solution we have given. What is the given here? PQ is equal to three centimeters as well as PR is equal to six centimeters and angle Q equal to ninety degrees. These three things are given. So first I consider a right angle triangle PQR. I said right angle is at Q. Now PQ he has given three. As well as PR is given as six, and is asking to find out determine C angle QPR angle QPR. Now this indicates that the angle. What is the middle present P? Now I will consider at P. Now what is at angle P? If the angle is present at P, now it becomes opposite. Now it becomes adjacent, and it becomes a hypotenuse. Now We have to find out the angle here. Now, if you observe opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, adjacent is given. So for cos, nothing but cos P is nothing but adjacent to P by hypotenuse to P. Hypotenuse to P. Now, cos P. Now, cos. Remember the value of cos P. Is nothing but adjacent to P is nothing but PQ by hypotenuse P is nothing but PR. Now this is nothing but PQ value is three and PR's value is six. So the figure three one the three two the. Now this is nothing but one by two. Now cos P is equal to one by two. Now here we need the value of p. Now just in the previous case we have learned about. Now cos p is equal to one by two. Now if you observe this is a trigonometric ratio and this is nothing but the normal number in the fraction. Now where does this one by two appears in terms of cos? Is nothing but cos p is equal to this one by two will be equal to cos sixty degrees. At sixty degrees the value will be equal to one by two. Now therefore, this P is nothing but equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, angle P equal to how much? We got 60 degrees. Now similarly, we will find out angle P R Q. Angle P R Q. Now what is the angle P R Q? Now the angle will be at. We should assume the angle will be at R. Now when we put R, this will become the opposite, and this will become the adjacent. And this will be the similar as hypotenuse. Now, sine. Why I am taking sine? Is nothing but the opposite value is given. So sine r is equal to opposite to r by hypotenuse to r. Hypotenuse to r. Now, what is opposite to r? Nothing but P Q by what is hypotenuse to r? P R. Now, what is its value? The value is nothing but three. P Q is three, and P R is six. Again, it will be one by two. Now, if you observe here, this one is in terms of sine, and this one in the form of general. Now, here I observe where does this value occurs? Now, I know this one by two will be relevant to thirty degrees. So, therefore, R equal to how much? Thirty degrees. Angle R equal to thirty degrees. This is how we will find out when two sides are given. We will find out the relevant angles. Now we will solve the example five. Now what is the example five? A curve of a circle of radius is making an angle of 60 degrees at the center by the length of the curve. Now a curve. Now a curve. A curve is nothing but The line joining the two distinct points on a circle. Now, if I consider 
this as a circle now this is the center of a circle now what is mirror curve a curve is nothing but see we know this circle is formed by distinct infinite number of points now if i consider there is a point a on the circle if i consider another point there is another point b on a circle if i join two distinct points on a circle now this is said to be the curve now ab is the curve of a circle and according to problem the curve of a circle of radius 6 cm of radius 6 cm is making an angle now the distance from this center to the point on a circle is nothing but 6 is given as well as similarly the distance from the center to another point on a circle is also nothing but given as 6 cm now if so is making of an angle 60 degrees at center now you know there is three angles 1 2 3 but here if you observe he has given at center so i will consider the angle is present at this o now here there exist 60 degrees angle now this is a problem given now if you observe here o a b is a triangle here o a b is a triangle now first i will go given so what is the given from figure from figure o a equal to o b equal to 6 cm angle a o b is equal to 60 degrees these are the given now here i need to find out the values now for that i know the concept of a right angle triangle so that i will bisect this angle o now as d d o d is the bisector of line ab as well as the bisector of angle o as to o a d d o b now here o d is the bisector of ab therefore angle a o c is equal to angle d o b is equal to nothing but 60 by 2 is nothing but 30 degrees therefore i get an angle a o c is equal to angle d o b is nothing but equal to 30 degrees now now so here i can write down 30 degrees similarly here this also exercises 30 degrees now if i observe from this one a d o or o d a is one right angle triangle from the figure so a d o and d o d d o are two right angle triangles Are two right angle triangle. Why I'm saying it is a right angle triangle because here this D bisect the line AB into two ninety degrees each. Now about these two right angle triangles, I use one right angle triangle to find out the relevant problem. Now if you observe this one here. If I observe from this, if I observe from this one, uh, this is nothing but the opposite. So what is the opposite? From triangle A D O. From triangle A O D D. A O now it is having 30 degrees here it is 90 degrees and this value is 6 now if I observe from this one this is opposite from O as well as this is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse 
Now, so since the from figure triangle ABOD is a right angle triangle. Now, I draw the figure ODA and I consider the hypotenuse as 6 cm and I consider ODA as the adjacent. Now, we will solve here. So, I will apply cos. Now, cos 30 is equal to of We will consider cos 30 is equal to adjacent to O by hypotenuse to O. Now, this is nothing but adjacent to O is nothing but OD by hypotenuse to O is nothing but AO. Now, cos 30 is equal to this is nothing but I don't know why OD by AO is nothing but 6. Now, we know cos 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 now, which is equal to OD by 6. Now, I want OD value. OD is equal to 1 by 2. Now, this is a denominator. I am taking this as the numerator. 1 by 6 becomes 6 by 1. 1 by 1 gets the answer. OD equal to now, OD equal to 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 6. OD equal to 3 centimeters. Now, from figure, we have got OD. Now, we will find out the value of length of the curve. Now, from figures, we observe A, B, O is a right angle triangle. I will draw the figure here again. A, D, O is a right angle triangle. O is having 30 degrees and O A we know as 6 centimeters. If we consider the angle is at here, now this will be the opposite and this will be the hypotenuse and this will be the adjacent. Now, I want the value of A. So, here I will apply sine. What is sine 30? Nothing but opposite to 30 degrees by hypotenuse to 30 degrees. Now, what is sine 30? 1 by 2 is equal to opposite to 30 degrees is nothing but AD by and hypotenuse is nothing but AO. Now this is equal to AD is nothing but you don't know the value AD by AO is nothing but 6. So 1 by 2 is equal to AD by 6. I want the AD value. AD is equal to 1 by 2 into this is nothing but 6 it becomes denominator becomes numerator. 2 1 the 2 3 the. So I got AD equal to 3 centimeters. Now we got the AD value. Now here what is the length of chord? The length of chord is nothing but AB. Now here AB is nothing but AD plus DB. Now if you observe here this D is the midpoint of AB. So AD plus DB AB is nothing but what is AD? So it indicates that AD will be equal to DB. We got AD as 3 plus then ultimately DB will be also 3. So that is nothing but 3 plus 3 will be equal to 6 centimeters. Now, length of curve is equal to 6 centimeters.